using the James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers have spotted six massive galaxies, and they date back to within 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. That's not all. They think this discovery could actually unravel what they long believed to be true about the origin of galaxies. So joining us now to discuss astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. He is the director of the Hayden Planetarium at the Rose Center for Earth and Space. So good to have you, sir. Good morning to you. Yeah, th thanks for having me. Good morning. Good so morning. The James Webb Space Telescope has reportedly spotted galaxies dating even further back. So what, do you, what makes this discovery so surprising? Is it surprising to you? Well, there's this period of the early universe that we call the Dark Ages, where the matter and energy were there but hadn't yet formed stars. And so they had to sort of coalesce, uh, undergo thermonuclear fusion in their core, turn on, gather into galaxies, and then sort of the, the, the universe begins with stars and galaxies as we come to know and love it. And in that gap, we don't really expect anything to be there. And these new objects, appear to be in that gap. And so this would completely force, it would force it to completely rethink what's going on back then. By the way, the James Webb Telescope was designed precisely for this purpose, to help us understand the origin of galaxies. So uh, uh, we shouldn't be surprised that we're surprised, to <laughs> put that out there. All right, you said rethink what's going on back there. So what are you, what's the rethinking? What are you thinking now, having, having gotten this new information? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, Wait, you're the astrophysicist and you don't know? That's why we have no, you here, Neil deGrasse Tyson. No, no, the, the whole point of <laughs> doing research on the frontier is you're stepping into places where no one has stepped before. Right. The whole concept of the James Webb Space Telescope was to see the universe the way no one, no previous telescope had ever seen it. So okay. some things you'll verify that you expect to be there, but you ex also expect to make discoveries that nobody ordered. And then, yeah, we gotta go in and say, what's going on? And, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with not knowing. Okay. This is part of how we live. All right, well, let me tell you, this is a, one of the co-authors of this study said, and this is in a statement, and I quote here, it says, it turns out we found something so unexpected, it actually creates problems for science. It calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question. Uh, so again, so, go, go on. Just to be clear, okay, so, so let me reword that, okay? Mm -hmm. I respect how that's stated, but let me reword it. You discover something new, it doesn't create a problem so much as it creates excitement a new understanding of the universe. We delight in this. It's not like we're all sitting back with our legs up on the table saying, basking in the knowledge of the universe that we have command over. No, we are always at the drawing board. And to people say, scientists will have to go back to the drawing board, we're always there. If you're an active research scientist, that's where you live. And you, you are befuddled daily. Plus, of course, the universe Rims with mysteries. So, like I said, but, oh, by the way, we need better data. Uh, there's a whole other wave of data you can obtain on this, and that's spectra, where you take the light and analyze what comprises it. And from that, you can learn the, how fast it's moving, uh, where it is in the expansion model of the universe, oh what chemistry is going on in it. That's another layer of discoveries, which might tell us, no, we're misidentifying it in this stage of discovery. So a lot can happen. So just watch this space, literally and figuratively.